Since it was founded more than 200 years ago, Sulaymaniyya in northern Iraq has been a city devoted to the arts. It's that celebrated legacy that makes it unsurprising that someone looked at this long abandoned and dilapidated tobacco factory and envisioned a sprawling cultural art center. There is no doubt there will be a huge impact on the people of Suleimania. All Kurdish people know that people here are thirsty for art and culture, and they are always participating in or holding cultural activities. People even come here from other cities. It has a special history. From 1961 to 2005, Sulaymaniyya Tobacco Factory rolled out carton after carton of cigarettes, including the first Kurdish brand. The government-run factory was the second largest industry in the city's history. It employed more than 1,500 people. But former Iraqi President Saddam Hussein's persecution of the Kurds destroyed tobacco farming in northern Iraq. These machines produced their last cigarette pack 13 years ago. Now the hope is this will become an arts hub where movie and television shows are produced, musicians can practice and perform, and artists create and show their work. The Cultural Arts Center will pay tribute to its historical roots. The plan is to save these machines and create an exhibit devoted to the Sulaymaniyya Tobacco Factory. In the beginning of the Cultural Center project, we agreed that the exterior of the building will be preserved. There will only be renovation inside. Therefore, the building remains as it was originally, and the next generation will know that previously. For more than 40 years, this was a tobacco factory. The Kurdistan regional government has allocated almost $6 million to the project. But no one can say how soon construction will begin in earnest, let alone finish. It's true that now the economic situation is difficult, but we hope that it will change and it should be better. Then we can overcome all the obstacles that we are facing. When the Cultural Arts Center does open, it promises to be a place where the history of industry and the future of the arts are preserved. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Sulaymaniyya, Northern Iraq.